so today our topic is to do simple binary classification of sk learn data sets using support vector mission classifier in python in python programming language so to do this task we have to import data sets from the sk learn so in order to achieve that i have written a code that from sk learn import data sets so now i want to import data sets of breast cancer data so to achieve that i have uh, written a code that cancer c a n c e r cancer is equal to data sets dot load underscore breast underscore cancer if i execute this so all my data sets will be imported to the my collab so next so i have to see what are the futures in the data sets and what are the target labels in the data set so to achieve that i have written this command print bracket open and futures so what type of futures cancer dot future underscore names so if i execute this i will get different types of futures so there are 32 futures are there so now i want to know the targets so target labels so print labels so print labels comma cancer underscore sorry cancer dot target underscore names so when you execute this program you will get two types of classification one is zero and one so zero means harmful data and one is not a harmful data so malignant malignant is harmful data benignant is not a harmful data not a harmful so now uh, so there are so many data are there but we can see specific data by using some uh, specific commands so if you want to know how much data is there so if i enter cancer dot or cancer dot data dot shape you will get we have 569 samples so it is showing 569 samples so in this 569 samples i can see some samples suppose i want to see 20 samples first 20 samples in the 569 sample so in order to do that print bracket cancer dot data from 0 to 20 so if we enter that i get first 20 data of the 569 data samples so if you want to see the labels of this first 20 data samples so print cancer dot target so up to how much 0 to 20 so here we get 20 target labels If I execute this program, cancer to target 0 to 20. If I execute this program, I will get 20 labels. So in this 19 are not a malignant, means 19 are benign and one is malignant. So now split the data. So we have the data, now split the data. So in order to split the data, we have to load the, we have to import the data split data option. So from sklon.model underscore selection, import train underscore test underscore split. So enter it. Now we can split the 569 data samples to 
two types of one is training set another is test set so x underscore train comma x underscore test comma y underscore train comma y underscore test is equal to so what we have to do train underscore test underscore split is the function we have imported the function before so before statement we have imported the train dot train underscore test underscore split function now we have to use this function to split our data into training training data and testing data so cancer dot data underscore cancer dot uh, target comma so test size is equal to so we have to take 30 percent of the data as a test set so 0 0.3 and uh, so 70 percent are training data and 30 percent are test data here so in 569 data 70 percent are training data and 30 percent are test data so random under state is equal let take some value like 109 now execute this line so now we have splitted the data 70 percent of 569 data into training data and 30 percent to test data now import now import svm so to write this code it is a wrong code you have to uh, from sklearn you have to import your svm so now take a new line from sklearn import SVM execute it okay now it is okay now specify the classifier so what type of classifier are we using support vector machine classifier so CLF classifier is equal to SVM dot SVC bracket so we have to give the kernel function we can give either a linear or rbf any kernel function now i am giving rbf kernel function now execute it now train the model using train sets now what we have to do we have to train the model using training sets so in order to do that we have a command that clf dot fit bracket x underscore train comma y underscore train now execute it so modeling is completed we have see we can see the catchy size is are classified classification weighted kernel function tolerance value and all these values will come now predict the response for test data set so now predict the response for test data set so in order to achieve that y underscore production pred is equal to clf dot predict bracket open x test so we have to predict the response of test data now execute this program so now we have to import our matrix so we have completed the classification but now we have to see how our classification is performed so in order to achieve that we have to uh, make a confusion matrix so confusion matrix is a mat uh, is a matrix to tell the accuracy of our classification problem 
so before uh, printing the accuracy problem we have to import the matrix of the problem so import so from sklearn import matrix now type now we can see the accuracy of the classification problem so print bracket open so accuracy comma matrix dot accuracy underscore score so bracket so which we have to test the accuracy first we have to take the test y underscore test comma comma y underscore predicted one p r e d y underscore predicted so now execute this program you will get the classification accuracy of this classic binary classification problem so now we get around 0 0.9239 means around 92.39 percent so what which have taken we have problem our classification binary classification problem accuracy is 92.39 percent